that was not worth it at all. Hey gang, before this video starts, um, if you could subscribe, that'd be really awesome. That'd, I'd be, I'd really appreciate it because currently all of this is coming from my very, very small bank account, which is not growing in any way. In fact, I, I'd say it's shrinking a little bit from all the stuff I'm buying. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It, this looks like a gang sign. So today, we're gonna be checking out the MP510. Now, oh god! If you don't know, I've already done a video on this. Um, wait, can you see it? It was at 3 a.m. Uh, this was the second pad I've ever used apart from a QCK. I used to make a QCK, by the way. Uh, very bad decision. I don't like the QCK, but if you like it, then that's fine. Oh yeah, I'm also talking very quietly because it is very late right now and I forgot to make a video. Let me say this, uh, it is not rough at all. Uh, in, in fact, it is very smooth. My friend who mains a mud pad, he said this was very smooth in terms of glide compared to his other pads. Now, this isn't a, a speed pad, I'd say. I'd say it's a Kodora service with more of a control because we have to act out this part where I ask if it's actually Kodora because I don't actually know. Maze is taking so long. He has no like respect of other people's time. Okay, so I was wrong. It is not Cordura. Stop vaping in my video. It's not Cordura. It is Amundsen. Cause stuff like the Decanic Control, the Wap Pad that's coming up. I think it's the Wap Pad. Maybe the Lethal Services. I, they haven't told me anything, but they they have Cordura services which are very very fast. This one is a very slow Cordura. It's probably why Rocket Jump Ninja like that because he likes control more. As I was learning new speeds, going from the QCK to this to the Decanic Control. Help me learn it more because if I um, one time I bought a GTFX, going straight from the QCK to that, uh, I could not control it at all. So the MP510 is a good middle ground to start learning faster and faster speeds. I was able to learn it. This is a, a point I mentioned before, but it's also budget. It is a budget pad. It is twenty dollars if you can find it, which it's barely in stock because of how good it is. And also the size is very weird. Check this out. Uh, this is my Decanic Control, right? And this is my MP510. Look at the little lip that hangs off on the edge. So if you like that verticality or like putting your entire arm on the pad, you won't get that luxury of the MP510. I guess we can do another water test on it because last time it said, I have this little stain here. So let's see if we can get rid of that with the water test. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I got it off. Oh, this towel smells terrible though. So it repels water very nicely. Okay. Not waterproof, but water resistant. Apparently it's supposed to be waterproof. It's not waterproof. Uh, so I wouldn't say this is necessarily on the same speed as a mud pad. However, I feel like if you're transitioning from a QCK or like a, a glorious pad to this, then you'll be able to transition very well. And maybe a, just a tiny bit faster, but you're still able to control it. So if you're looking for a, a very good pad, that that has good durability and that you probably want to use for like a very like a very long duration then i recommend the mp510 uh the only drawback i can see from this is that since it's shorter than usual you might have to get the extra large version because this is a weird length so thanks for watching guys please subscribe like the video and w paracords is a restocking suit so, so use code andrewpb at wparacords.com for 10 percent off uh i love you and if the WAP pads are on stock, use code Andrew PBB for 10% off.